Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Talking with Famous People. And <laughs> and I am here talking with famous person Alec or Alex. Alec or Alex? Alec, you had it right. With a C, okay. Famous person Alec, yep. who is friends with famous per person Lorenz Walker. Now, Alec, I don't know if you have any familiarity with the show at all. I'm hoping you have not very much because I'm hoping you won't have heard these questions before. Okay, great. So let me start with, with some basic questions. Number one, do you often forget small objects when you go to school or work where like, oh, shit, I left my whatever at home. Oh, god damn it, I left my whatever. Like, Do you do that a lot or not? Yeah. Okay. Um, if you were given the option to... You had two people call you and say, one, one of them says, and you're equally good friends with each of these two people. One of them says, hey, I got a, a cool party at my house. going to be about 20 people here. Um, lots of fun things are going to happen. We're going to have a good time. Or the other person says, hey, me and Jenny and, and Bob are going to the movies. You want to come with us? Which do you rather do? I'd rather go to the movies. Okay. Do you... Do you do most of your reading on the internet or in books? Physical books. Uh, okay. Do you read on the internet primarily stuff about ideas and concepts, stuff about people, or stuff about uh, animals, or what? Uh, stuff about people. So, so for example, if there was if there was uh, an article that said, um, let's see. Uh, um, what's that guy's name? Ah, fuck, I can't remember his name. But uh, okay, well let's let's pick somebody else. Yeah, let's say there was an article that said, you know, oh my God, Miley Cyrus is has once again taken off all of her clothes. This time it was in Times Square. She made a triple X movie in the middle of Times Square. Would that be something that you would find that you want to read about more about, like train wreck celebrity type things? No. Okay, what kind of people do you want to read about? Um, that does sound interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to read about that too, actually. <laughs> I mean, I'd like to see the person that doesn't want to read about that. But, right, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just random miscellaneous stuff. Um, Do you want to read about specific people? About, about specific people or about what makes them tick or what? Like, do you just want to feel like you're close to them, identify with them, or you want to understand what makes them go, or what? Um, a little bit about what makes them go. Okay. Or do you feel you have uh, a lot of, you have clear aspirations about what you want to do and where you want to go in life? Nope. Do you think truth is discovered or created? Uh, discovered. Um, if... If you had two people and they were both, you trusted them both as extremely competent in their respective natures. And one of them said, one of them was famous for just having the right kind of gut feeling. And just, you know, you should always trust this person to say something. And they say to you, I don't know, I don't think we should go in there. I have a bad feeling about this. And the other guy says, he's famous for, um, for being able to get out of tough jams. It, it would seem impossible for him to get, escape it, but he's able to get out of it. And he says... Well, there may be something in there, but we'll be able to handle it. I, don't worry. We can figure it out on the fly. I have a long history of doing this shit. Which person do you trust and why? The one who has a gut feeling because I don't want to be put in a situation where I have to worry about getting out of it. But if there's no evidence besides that person's gut feeling that there's anything wrong with this place, do you still feel the same way? Like, it is an abandoned building that you ran into out in the woods, okay? But it appears to just be, like, an abandoned home. It doesn't seem to be anything, like, spooky or weird necessarily. It's the middle of the day. Okay, I'd probably go in with the, with the guy. All right, you died. You shouldn't have done that. Turns out there's a bear in there. Okay. <laughs> I just, just just a joke. I don't know. The idea being, um, you're cautious. You're somewhat cautious. You know. Uh, 
if I were to say to you, what what comprises your identity? What would you say? I will say that to you. What comprises your identity? What do you say? Being really mellow, I guess. What other what other components? Tell me about the various components of your identity and, and what they are and how they differ from each other. Mellow is one. What else? Mellow, honest, um, emotionally emotionally committed to others. Not really. I'm very. Did you hear active? Yeah. Okay. What are you active at? Um, whenever it comes to doing anything, I'm normally down to do stuff. It doesn't matter. So if you're at home alone, are you going to be finding, calling people, being like, okay, who wants to go out and do something and find something to do right now? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Right. Would you rather do something that entails uh, physical action, activity, like shooting basketball, um, like uh, group fun activity, like Disneyland kind of movies thing? Or like discourse activity like this in a group though say like let's all go out for for a nice dinner together and have a, a long conversation over dinner which of those kind of things do you like to be most active in um something around like shooting basketball being active like that I see do you feel like you uh, do you do well with chicks um I mean I do all right like, can you read them? Can you tell if a chick is interested in you or not? Yeah. I think it's ESTP. That's my guess. No, he doesn't know what that means at all. I, I know. I, I'm actually talking to I'm sorry. I will clarify. I, see, I, I've got basically three different sets of people here, right? I've got chat people who are talking to me via that medium. And sometimes, even, although not in this particular string, sometimes somebody who's talking with their voice will also add somebody to the chat. But in my mind, that's a separate people. Those are separate people, right? Like, that's the chat people. So that will confuse me a little bit. In this instance, I was responding to something Metasub said in chat. I mean, FileScat said in chat, which is about, uh, she in indicated that she thought he was ISTP. And I was saying, no, I think he's ESTP. And what that means, um, Alec, would be yes. that you would have extroverted sensing in the ISTP. Yeah. No, yeah, you have extroverted sensing in the first slot, then introverted thinking in the second slot. Is that right or is it vice versa? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And uh, ISTP. Right. Well, oh, that's true. Movies, not party. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Well, that's right about that. Um, you might be ISD. Do you feel you? Do you? But see, look, he wants to go out all the time, though. Do you think of yourself as extroverted or introverted, Alec? Me, um, a little bit more introverted. All right. I'll go with ISTP then. That makes sense too. That would make him the same as Basement Overlord. Um, you're in good company there, Alec, if you're an ISTP. Uh, what I would like to, to suggest or ask of you is if you don't mind Googling and, and reading a couple uh, descriptions, read one on ISTP and maybe read one on ISTJ. I, I, I think ISTP is right. But um, I would love to see if you think that that describes you or not. If you just Google ISTP, see if that description fits you. Um, all right, so we're going to stop this video now. I'm going to upload this one, and if uh, we have further information from Alec, we may make another short follow-up one to let you know what he decided. Okay, thank you very much for watching Talking with Fans, people. I've been host Eric, and as always, if you remember just one thing today, remember to eat cheese.